Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to fix Shizuku not running issue on non product devices. So when I open the Shizuku app, as you can see, it says Shizuku is not running. And also my device is not rotted. So let's fix this step by step. The first thing you need to do is connect your phone with the stable Wi-Fi network. So let me quickly connect my phone with the Wi-Fi. Once connected, open the phone settings and enable developer option. To do that, open settings and then go to about phone. And search for build number. Here it is, simply tap on it 7 times to enable developer option. So the developer option is enabled. Go back and open developer option settings. Inside developer option, we need to enable USB debugging. Once you find it, simply enable it. Now that USB debugging option is enabled. Next click on the wireless debugging and also enable it. So both options are now enabled. Uh, let's open Shizuku app. And here click on the pairing option. At this point, Shizuku will request notification permission, which is essential for it to working properly. So grant the notification permission to a uh, Shizuku app. Once the permission is enabled, you will see a pop-up in Shizuku saying it's searching for a pairing service. Now go back to developer option. Here make sure to remove any previously uh, paired devices if they are listed there. This is to ensure there is no conflict during the pairing process. Once that's done, uh, tap on this option, pair device with pairing code. As soon as you click on it, you will receive a notification saying pairing device found. Just like you can see here. What we need to do is enter this 6 digit code to that notification. So let me enter it and then click on send. Once the pairing is complete, you will see a message confirming pairing successful. Now go back to Shizuku app. You might be notice error like pairing failed. Don't worry about it, we will fix this. Simply click on the start button in the app. As soon as you click on the start button, you will see uh, the services is starting. And the pairing window will close automatically. So wait for it. And yes. As you can see, Shizuku is not running successfully. Now with Shizuku is running, you can grant Shizuku access to any app you want, such as Sam Helper or Lexron. Now these app can utilize Shizuku's powerful feature without requiring the root access. By following this step, you can successfully run Shizuku on any non rooted device. Guys, if you restart your device, you will need to repeat all the steps to run Shizuku again. This is because a Shizuku start on boot feature works only on rooted devices. I hope this guide helped you to fix the Shizuku not running issue on your non rooted device. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off.